y'all i was listening to something i hope y'all can hear me because i got one of my earbuds connected and my son says that makes me sound like i'm underwater but <laughs> but i'm not just listen hear me out if you are a person who is hopeless right if you and you know if you this person if you are a hopeless ass person stay away from people <laughs> or just surround yourself with people who match your hopelessness right don't attach yourself to someone who is full of joy who is full of hope who is often optimistic right stay out of that person's energy because the fact of the matter is this right people who are hopeless while they can be drawn to the person who is full of hope, it oftentimes ain't because they desire that for themselves. Oftentimes, it's because they want to bring that person down. Like, oh, let me snap, snap this person back to reality. Or, oh, I just saw one, one, one on the clock. I know, I know. <laughs> they wanna, they wanna uh, something. They wishing that person to fail, or they are projecting, or or trying to like will some type of downfall on them. They want something to go wrong so they can be like, mm -hmm, "Where's your hope now?" Right, y'all. I would not be telling y'all this right now if it wasn't revealed to me so frequently. And I see, I see the stories. A lot of mothers and daughters have these dynamics. So people are like, but that's your mother. So what? It's a whole bunch of mothers who have not lived their dream, who sacrificed something, and who are stuck in a space of blame, even resentment towards their own children. So if, if that's for mothers, that goes for fathers as well. Um friends you have a lot of friends who envy secretly envy or or someone's tenacity someone's resilience someone's confidence they envy your faith we talked about that before they envy your faith in the divine to lead you into something better right it just happens so listen if you are one of those miserable hopeless people stay the hell away from other folk <laughs> keep that energy to yourself because it's bad enough especially if this is someone that you consider a loved one really it's bad enough to have to fight these demons in the street these people with all of this ugly spirited energy attached to them but to either be in your home or or around the people that you think love and truly care about you and to still have to be concerned about these energies and these entities and attachments that's a whole different level of fight it's, it is able you listen if you are one of the hopeful people then you know you can overcome it it may come with implementing some strong boundaries but if you're one of the hopeful people, like you already know, like it don't matter. It, it's not a battle you won't be able to fight. However, it sucks that you should have to. Keep your hopeless ass. <laughs> Get out from around me. <laughs> and anybody else who don't match that energy. Keep it to yourself. 